years of over-farming and unsustainable fertilisation practices have left Sri Lanka's iconic tea fields in dire circumstances. In Sri Lanka's mid-country, the trial of an environmentally friendly new fertilisation technique called biochar is currently underway. Because of the depletion of soil fertility, the input of chemical fertilizer keeps on increasing. The presence of microorganisms in the soil creates the living soil. Using chemical fertilizer, you kill them all. Basically, these soils are just holding the plant up. Biochar, although a new word, is in fact an old technology, one used by Sri Lankan farmers going back hundreds of years. We expect to be able to correct the soil pH, increase the biomass above ground, allow the plant to withstand extended periods of drought, and also reduce chemical input as a fertilizer by at least 50 to 75 percent. Now, at the Palmadella estate, the trial has been extended. Here, in this controlled experiment, Large sections of the tea crop have been treated with biochar, reducing their chemical intake by 50%. The results have been overwhelmingly positive. On the ability to withstand drought, it records at least 50 grams per bush, more than the untreated one. Now we have uh, seen uh, very visible results because not only the yields, it has improved the quality of the texture of the leaf also. Physically, the leaf is succulent and the colour is good and we are in the process of tasting and identifying the contents also at the moment. This project is just one example of many underway in the estates with the goal of restoring an ecological balance. I would say that biochar is one of the agricultural methods to basically save the industry.